just when we thought Xbox sealed the deal and won this Xbox FTC court case. Small little wrench is coming to their plans, ladies and gentlemen. Microsoft is disappointed as the FTC officially files an appeal on the Activision Blizzard ruling. So if you're paying attention, a judge ruled in favor of Microsoft and Microsoft felt like they were well on their way to securing this Activision Blizzard deal. We knew an appeal was possible. We covered it. We talked about it and it came. They filed it and now we have to wait just a little bit longer to see how much more comes out of this whole situation. Now it's starting to get pretty tasty. Almost tastier than this Subway sandwich that I got. I think this is uh, roast beef on Italian. Not sure, but fucking delicious. That's what I know it is. So yeah, we have a wrench in the plans of Xbox. And the corporation calls the regulator's case weak and says it will continue to oppose. So FTC ain't having it. They're not going down without a fight. They are going to be appealing this ruling that would allow Microsoft to continue its $70 billion acquisition of Activision Blizzard. So, they're trying to get a motion for preliminary injunction against Xbox. Had it been granted, this injunction would have blocked the deal entirely from being completed until U.S., regulators in-house court had a chance to rule on whether the merger would hurt competition in the games industry and we've seen sony putting up a huge fight like this has been such a battle for the ages now wednesday's appeal which happened wednesday it means now it has a chance to convince the appeals court that the ruling was incorrect so now they have to say hey the judge was incorrect in his assumption this is why it's gonna be interesting to see what evidence comes out of this But there is a little bit of a caveat to this. There's a restraining order that's going to be expiring on July 14th, which is today. And that means barring an extension from the appeals court, Microsoft will be able to push through and close the deal this weekend. So who knows what's going to happen on this? Whether you're watching this right now or not, this might be outdated by the time you watch this because I'm at South Carolina for the Southeast Game Exchange right now. It's a convention weekend. So I had to make this Wednesday night late, or Thursday night. Thursday night late, I recorded this. So depending on what's going on, there might be some new change happening because this is an ongoing situation that's going to be affecting the market as a whole. Now, Brad Smith, who's Microsoft's president, made the following statement. He said, The district court's ruling makes crystal clear that this acquisition is good for both competition and consumers. We're disappointed that the FTC is continuing to pursue what has become a demonstrably weak case, and we will oppose further efforts to delay the ability to move forward. So pending this outcome of the appeal from the FTC, the ruling removes one of the last major obstacles from preventing this deal from happening. Like, this was one of the, the, if not the huge deal. Now, uh, you think about it, the European Commission approved back in May Microsoft's acquisition. Earlier this week, the UK Competition and Markets Authority paused legal proceedings with Microsoft and Activision Blizzard with a view to reach an agreement over the game's company's proposed merger after the deal was cleared in the U.S. So they basically like, okay, well, the U.S. cleared it. Let's pause this and let's work towards it. So, (laughs) there could be a lot happening right here. There could be a huge process when it comes to this acquisition. And this feels crazy to think about just how huge of a situation this has been. But if Microsoft somehow pulls this victory, which it's getting really fucking close in my opinion, as I eat some tomato, I think the landscape... Uh, the video game industry can be forever changed. And it could be happening literally right now before this video even makes it the light of day. So don't be a smart ass if you're in my comments right now and something big has happened or this got denied and it's not happening and be like, Eric, this is old news, okay? You should be paying attention and come out timely. Yeah, okay. I'm a one-man machine, okay? I'm in mommy's basement. 
I'm looking at the news as I see it. I record a pipeline, especially for weekends like this weekend, which if you're in the Greenville, South Carolina area, and you want to go to Southeast Game Exchange, I will be there. You can come, buy a t-shirt, meet me, go to my panel. I'm wrestling on Sunday as well, and it's going to be a good time. This is a really good convention. I love it. I have a lot of fun each year that I go. So <laughs> right now as we speak, I'm in South Carolina, God willingly. So, yeah, I wanted to touch in on this because this appeal was something that was definitely going to happen. Um, this was something that was hinted about, talked about when I made my video the other day. And uh, I was given my thoughts on the whole situation because it seems like it's been a very divisive topic amongst gamers who some people just don't like the idea of Microsoft acquiring this. But at the same time, these people are, are asking Sony to buy Square Enix. It's kind of weird how some people's brand loyalties make them blind to where they have like a double standard when it comes to acquisitions. Like, why is it that some people are okay with Sony buying up companies and studios and things like that? But the second that Microsoft tries to acquire a division like Activision and Blizzard, oh, because it's so big and it controls them. Oh, okay, you know what? That's how capitalism goes. I'm sure if Sony could do it, they would have bought if they would have made the right price. But guess what? Business is business. Xbox offered the $70 billion deal. And now Sony's fighting like hell to, to try to prevent it. I personally think this is good for the gaming industry. I don't think it's going to screw things up. I can't wait to see where this leads. Hopefully this appeal doesn't happen. I have a feeling it's going to. And we're going to see this drag out for just a tad bit longer. But if this ends anytime soon, like I said yesterday, this is going to be a perfect opportunity for Xbox to capitalize with Game Pass over the holiday season. They could upgrade as I ate a jalapeno and holy crap. <coughs> Was that jalapeno hot? Them peppers is like hot. What movie is that from? Let me know in the comments down below. At this point, I'm just honestly rambling. Um, I'm sure most of you guys clicked off. But if you didn't click off this video... Give me a hashtag Xbox ass and titties in the comment section, please. I would greatly appreciate that. But yeah, back to it. I think Game Pass is going to become a huge powerhouse. I think xCloud is going to become a huge powerhouse if and when this acquisition happens. I think at this point, it's just playing hardball and calling each other's bluffs and trying to stall it for as long as possible. I think it's going to happen. We'll see. It could happen really fast if, if uh, the restraining order expires. So, let me know your thoughts. I'll see you on the next one.